very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, please don't be worried, I'm not going to ask you for change. Uh, the reason I have coconuts in my hands is uh, because since a year and a half, I've been doing workshops and sessions on painting on coconut shells. So what I do is participants come with raw coconut shells and then they do artwork on the raw shell and they transform the shell completely. So in one of the sessions which I was doing on, on coconut painting, I came across a teenager who had a beautiful artwork on his shell. Out of curiosity, I walked up to him and I asked him, what is this artwork about? Can you explain it to me? This teenager had a beautiful story which he had behind his artwork. Few days later, I had another session where there was one lady who came up with a very beautiful artwork on the shed. And again, I walked up to that lady and asked her, what is this artwork all about? Even she had a beautiful story to narrate. And like this, I've, you know, approached many participants and tried to find out, you know, what is their artwork about. And I realized most of the participants who were participating in transforming the coconut shells had a beautiful story behind their artwork. This, some, this is something which actually, you know, kind of made me think made me realize that every individual who is sitting in this room has a storyteller and an artist within himself. That storyteller needs to be reignited. Unfortunately, the modern education system, more attention is given to maths and science, which are the activities of the left side of the brain. There is less attention given to creativity, arts and storytelling, which are the activities of the right side of the brain. Because of this, there is something called imbalance. So when I was observing so many participants, I realized I'm living a life of a discarded coconut shell. I mean, yes, this discarded coconut shell has some value. In villages, you know, a lot of women use dried discarded shells for cooking. But if this shell is transformed, if this shell has an artwork and a story behind it, the value of that shell increases by hundreds of times. So with these experiences in mind, I reignited the artist and the storyteller who was inside me. And since months I've been writing stories artistically and I would like to share one story with all of you this afternoon. But before I move forward, I would like to get rid of the discarded coconut shell as I am moving forward in life. So you see this coconut has three sides and there is artwork on all three sides of this shell. On this side of the shell, on the first side, I would name this as the first side, you will see a man. So this man is about to go to Singapore. He has booked his ticket. He has a week left. The flight which he is boarding for Singapore goes via Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. This man has got nine hours in transit. So a week before he departs from India, he sends out a message on social media. In that message, this man writes, Is there anyone interesting I can meet in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia? Within few hours, many people respond. One of his friends, he sends a message back saying that, You know what, my brother-in-law lives in Kuala Lumpur. He will be happy to meet you. So like this, he has few meetings which are lined up during his upcoming visit. So this man, then he boards a flight. You can see an aircraft on this artwork. He boards a flight for Kuala Lumpur. He is getting ready to meet another gentleman, his friend's brother-in-law. From a distance, his friend's brother-in-law waves his hand. And in the left hand, this, uh, his friend's brother-in-law has a bag. So this traveler is wondering, you know, what this person has in this bag. 
In his mind, he was thinking, looks like I have made a big mistake by posting on social media. Because now I'll have to carry the bag this man has bought for his relatives or friends in India. In few seconds, they were face to face with each other. His friend's brother-in-law gives him a bag and tells him, this bag has breakfast, lunch and dinner, which his wife has made, especially for the traveller. When the traveller heard that, he was speechless. And he was thinking how wrong he was. When this traveller completed his trip and came back to India after visiting Kuala Lumpur and Singapore, he shared this story on social media, shared his experience with his connections on social media. Within hours, hundreds of people from all parts of the world responded. People from Germany, Australia, United Kingdom, United States, Dubai, Bangladesh, Czech Republic. And there were messages which he received on a social media platform, which was open to public. And the messages were, if there is anyone who is visiting my city, my country, just send me a message and I would love to host you either for breakfast, lunch or dinner. My dear friends, one story presented artistically can help you experience a borderless world. This is the power of storytelling. In the beginning of my talk, I spoke about the lady and the teenager from whom I learned about how to reignite the storyteller or the artist within you. They have come with me uh, this afternoon. So I would like to invite them on stage. Uh, Siddharth, if you could come on stage, and uh, Rituji, if you could come on stage. Thank you. And so Siddharth would like to share his story how a tetra pack, a discarded tetra pack, helped him reignite the artist and the storyteller which was within him. And Rituji is going to share with you. How a cola bottle helped her reignite the artist and storyteller which was within her. So, Siddharth, if you could share with the audience your experience, that would be great. Uh, just like you all, even I am wondering what I am doing here at such a young age among such distinguished personalities. Hi, my name is Siddharth and uh, currently I am doing computer engineering. Ever since I was a small child, I was influenced by the world of art and painting. But then I got caught up in academics, entrance tests, etc. But a few months back, I reignited my passion for storytelling and art. And ever since that, I have continued with it on the sides. My life of engineering reminds me of a dialogue from the movie Tamasha. Ek par ek hero tha. Usne mehnat ki, padai ki, engineering ki, aur naukri ki. Phir naukri karte karte yun, yun hi ek din mar gaya. Kya hua? Pasang yahi ending? To badal do na, tumhari apni kahani hai. Art is just like this milk enclosed in a tetra pack. Now the milk is very nutritious, but it comes with an expiry date. So if you do not use it at the right time, it's a complete waste. This artwork done by my younger sister has two sides. This is the happy side which represents the boiled milk. And this is the sad one which represents milk which has expired. It's a choice that you all have to make. All of us are born with creativity, but we choose to exchange it with mundanities. So go home, pick up your dancing shoes, your painting brush, writing pen. If you are embarrassed, do it, by, do it behind closed doors. But go home and find the artist within yourself. Thank you. So Rituji, if you could share some of your experiences. Thank you. After a very long time, I did an activity related to art and storytelling, which reignited the artist and the storyteller within me. Art and storytelling can make a huge difference in one's life. So today I would like to share a story through the artwork that I've made here. One evening, an old man tells his grandson about the battle that goes on inside people. The battle is between two wolves. One is evil. It represents greed. Anger, envy, jealousy, self-pity, resentment, regret, uh, ego, superiority, etc. The other wolf is good. It represents 
peace, joy, love, hope, compassion, serenity, humility, kindness, empathy, etc. So the grandson thinks for a minute and asks his grandfather, So who wins? The grandfather replies, The one you feed the most is the one who wins. Thank you. So you saw like, you know, you can reignite the artist or storyteller who is within all of you. It could be using the discarded coconut shell or a tetra pack or a waste cola bottle or it could be anything else. It could be a palm leaf or it could be a piece of paper. But trust me, if you do that, you will experience a big difference in your life. You will be able to express what's in your heart. There is a slide which you can see on the screen. This is not the slide which I made. This slide has the list of top 10 skills one must have to thrive in, in the year 2020. It also has the list of skills required, which were required in the year 2015. Now if you go through each skill, complex problem solving, creativity, negotiation, critical thinking, people management, coordinating with others, judgment and decision making, service orientation, cognitive flexibility. Trust me, when you go back home and just Google each of the skill which is listed here and see how art and storytelling can help you possess all the skills which are mentioned here. Art and storytelling have got a vital role to play in every skill which is listed here. All you need to do is activate the right side of your brain. And trust me, whether it was past or it's present or it's going to be in the future, if you reignite the artist and the storyteller within you, you will certainly have a better life. Thank you very much.